Kaylee and today is going to be day two of classroom setup. If you haven't already watched day one, I will have that link down below. If you did see day one, you saw that I set up my bulletin board. I really only have one real bulletin board in my classroom so i tried setting that up yesterday but yeah this wrinkle and like that wrinkle is just not doing it for me when i tell you that i literally lost sleep over those wrinkles i'm not choking like my brain it just isn't compatible with that i am going to tear down <laughs> and redo the entire thing i tried fixing the wrinkles it's just not working so that cannot stay like that because my brain cannot handle it I also lugged every last thing that I had in my trunk and in my apartment into my classroom so I no longer have to worry about that. Everything's in here. Shout out to Ryan at Vickery Dickery Doc on Instagram. She shared her Starbucks drink, which was literally like the same order because I get venti iced chai tea latte with light ice pretty much every day. But she ordered hers with sweet cream. So I tried that and it's really good. It is sweet obviously, so it's not something I would be able to drink every day, but it's good to like switch it up because I get so used to drinking the iced chai tea latte that sometimes it doesn't even taste that flavorful anymore because I'm so used to it. If you are new, definitely hit the subscribe button to stay up to date with all my teaching and lifestyle related videos. I'm going to be a second year fifth grade teacher. Okay, seriously, the first thing we're doing is like literally ripping this off. Like I just, I can't. You may have seen my dilemma on Instagram, which was I had no idea which border to use that would go with this hands border from the Target Dollar Spot and like the gray wallpaper, not wallpaper, the gray wrapping paper up there and my desk which is now the black and white kind of brush stroke polka dot thing because that border was just clashing the black and white polka dot so i decided to get fabric instead of paper shout out to elementary in the mitten because this was two yards for two dollars it was in the um, fabric clearance section or value section which i didn't know existed until i watched kim's reel on instagram and i figured i would pick this up as like a border instead of that black and white polka dot thing so i think since this is neutral and like just greenery it'll go with everything and that's kind of what i came up with i did ask you guys for suggestions on instagram and you guys were trying so hard to help me but i'm so picky because i have all these different like ideas as in i don't want my room too dark with the black that's originally why i kind of took off the gray from over here because it had gray black white and this polka dot border and it was kind of too dark for me so I want more like white and bright stuff. So this is what I came up with. For today, I think I'm just gonna hang the fabric and let it breathe and like kind of sit and stretch. I read online that you can just like staple the corners and let it sit for a few days. So today's Friday, it'll be able to sit over the weekend before I like put the borders up and stuff. I am gonna probably have to redo that and that. That's fine, I'll just cut it again. My silhouette. Okay, seriously, this was taking an ungodly amount of time to take out these staples. So, DIY staple remover. Just take a paper clip, shove it under the staple, and it will come out easily. Oh my goodness. Well, removing all those staples took me approximately 20 minutes. And that was pretty fast because I used this paper clip. There is not a single staple left on this bulletin board, and... That is what my brain needed. So now it is a nice clean slate again. I am going to hang this fabric, but only use a few staples and just let it sit for the weekend. Okay, we're just leaving this for the weekend i'm done with that for now as you can see it's super wrinkly but it's fabric so if like the if the wrinkles don't drop over the weekend i'm just gonna bring in my mini steamer and hopefully that'll be perfect to get the wrinkles out and then i can put the little greenery trim around it as a border now the only thing is i overestimated how much fabric that was and i don't have anything as a background for the student work area 
Does anyone else understand how stressed I am over something so small? I'm just gonna leave that alone for now. And I have a bunch of stuff that I laminated and cut at home. And I'm going to worry about that. And a lot of this little stuff is like more satisfying to me. I don't know why. Like I have like my new binder covers and binder spines. So I'm going to switch all those out. I have my new toolbox labels. So I like all that little stuff because it really helps the room come together. I think I'm going to start with my binders. So these are all the binder spines. And then I have my binder covers right here. So we're going to get started on that. Okay, here are all my binders. They basically look the same. I just changed the font, but I'm so happy that I can see something come together and be complete. Just little things like this make me feel really good during classroom setup. I think I'm going to take these off, even though like they're the same font and stuff. I don't know what I'm going to use those bins for. Having like days of the week didn't really work great for me. <laughs> my goodness do not even tell me do not even tell me this is too big i literally made the same size as last year why just why um apparently these labels are too big but i used this same exact thing as last year that fit perfectly on here so so I made these voice level posters on PowerPoint and I'm going to put a magnet on the back. They're already laminated and cut out. And I have my handy dandy magnet strip which is super helpful. You can turn anything into a magnet. So we're going to put these somewhere on this whiteboard. I might make a vinyl title that says voice level. Speaking of this whiteboard, I have a lot of other stuff to put back on it. My calendar is in here somewhere. I love myself. I already set it up for September when we left school and I forgot. Such a nice surprise. I'm so glad I was able to just keep all of this like this and just cover it over summer because I don't have to organize any of that. This is looking a little rough. I kind of shoved a bunch of stuff in there. This needs to be reorganized, but these are like low priority things. So a bunch of stuff is shoved in here too. So for the voice levels, I originally bought this from Five Below because it came with a remote and it's like one of the LED lights um, to put under whatever level we're at. Um, and I would just put like a magnet on the back, but if I wanted to use this one somewhere else in my classroom, I wouldn't really be able to because I think this remote will turn them both on at the same time. So I just put our schedule back up. We have arrival, morning work, special, morning meeting, ELA, lunch, recess, quiet time, math, closing circle, and dismissal. And then I will switch out social studies and science as needed. Am I ever going to get through classroom setup without an injury? Okay, so I have it as a magnet up here. I just need to get some AAA batteries. I think I'm going to grab my pillows and kind of just toss them in the window seat for now. I'm also going to grab this rug and see where I can put it and I'm gonna put these chairs in groups because I'm pretty sure we're gonna be able to I mean the kids are gonna have their masks on still okay so here is the rug I'm not sure if I'm going to keep it here, but obviously I want to create a cute little library space, but I also want a chill zone, and I'm not sure where that's going to go. I keep thinking about that corner, but that's where I have my teacher table and where I do like small groups. So unless, I don't know, I don't know. Once I put the desks in groups, there's going to be a lot more room, I feel like, so I might do that now. Okay, so 
so this is what I have for now. I'm sure it will probably change, but I have five groups of four. Right now I'm only supposed to have 20 students. They did give me one extra desk, and honestly, even in groups, it's pretty full, um, especially because the way these desks are, I can only configure groups of four. There's always going to be some students that are facing directly away from the front of the room because, well, actually, the way I did those, they're kind of tilted, so maybe I could do that to all of them. I'll do that some other time, but for now, I like how they're in groups. Hopefully, they can stay that way. I added all the pillows into the window seat for now. I don't know. I feel like this is the best place for them to not like go everywhere because if they're on the floor on this rug, I feel like it's just going to be a disaster. I feel like I'm going to keep them there. I might move a couple to the chill zone um, and then I put that second rainbow pillow on my teacher chair. I think I'm going to put this circle rug wherever I decide to put the chill zone. Um, and I want it to be in this corner because obviously if a student is going to the chill zone, they don't want to like be seen by everyone most likely. So. I'm thinking over here, but I'll just have to move my teacher table maybe over there more. Maybe switch that table, put it somewhere else. Let me know if you can think of any spot for that dry erase table. I think I'm going to move some things around just to kind of help me reimagine the space because if things are like where they are, I can't really like think of anything different. And like I said, I'm hoping we can get our big class rug back and I want to do like morning meeting and closing circle on it. So I'm going to have like my rocking chair over here. This thing I think I want near my rocking chair, then I don't know where to put my stage. So at the end of last year, I had my students fill out an end of the year survey, seeing like what I could do better, what I should keep the same for next year. One of my students specifically mentioned this white bookshelf two times. The first question that asked, what should Ms. DeMello change for next year? They said, move the white bookshelf. And if you don't know, if you haven't seen like any of my old videos, my white bookshelf was coming out from this wall, making this like a little section so it would come out and face that way. And then when they answered, what should Miss Mello do the same next year? They said everything except the white bookshelf. So I don't know where they want to put the white bookshelf. I do kind of want to switch it up because it makes kind of like, I liked how it made a little corner for my area, but I don't know. And I like it over here with the library, but then it cuts off the window seat. I don't know. So I'm thinking right now of moving the bookshelf in front of where it says social studies. But I want to move social studies where it says science because, I mean, I don't know if I'm going to be teaching science this year. Last year we kind of didn't. Science is like a special. Maybe I could just keep social studies up there and it'll go above the read aloud. Cause like anytime we're working on something, it's only like one anchor chart at a time. But the only thing is the kids wouldn't be able to reach it really. Okay, so that's what it looks like over there. I know there's like a group right there, but I could push them up more cause this space is so open now. I need to find a spot for this now. Usually I would put that behind the book display because it was facing me, but now I wouldn't really be able to get to it. So I need to find a new spot for that. It feels super open like this. I kind of like it. Like this is my area, which my desk is gonna be pushed over once I'm done with the bulletin board. So really just from like here, and this little cube is my space. And then from like here on is so nice and open now. It's still only 11.24 and I feel like I've gotten like a decent amount of stuff done. I'm gonna keep going because I just feel like it. I still have so much stuff over here, but I think I'm gonna put back all the books back um, where they belong at the library. <laughs> did get some new books over summer um, so I'm gonna grab my book labels and hopefully I just have enough because I really won't feel like making more okay I just spent some time reorganizing and putting stickers on books for my classroom library I'm gonna leave it like this for now I still have some books that I have to like peel stickers off of <laughs> So 
So this is the ELA Center's pocket chart that I made. Um, and another one is coming for my wish list for math. So I'm going to find it somewhere on here. Or maybe even on the wall because I don't want to take up whiteboard space if I don't have to. So maybe I'll put it over here. Okay, so my camera died. I'm about to be heading out. I was charging it for a little bit. I'm going to show you the things that I did. So I continued working on the library a little bit. I put like my back to school read alouds in the book display. Um, I still have a few books to label. I'm just putting this table to kind of get out the kinks in the rug. I set up these bins. One is this week's picks. And then the other one is new to our class library. Those were from the Target Dollar Spot for $3, so I like the way it looks like that. This is looking pretty organized. Alright, so this is how it's looking. This is honestly probably as good as it's going to get because some things just don't fit in the bins. Um, but I do need to make a couple new labels because I moved things around. And I actually made them all match because before I had some of... Um, those clear bins in here, but now I just have all the white bins. I switched out these bins. I used to have the black ones, now I have white ones, so I just have the turn-in bin and stuff to go into mailboxes. And then I just hung this up. I'm not going to put the vinyl yet because I tried getting that off and I can't for the life of me get it off. So I have to get one of those things, like a scraper, to take that off. And then I'm thinking of making this like our Lexia Tracker slash ELA Center's pocket chart. And then also underneath our um, iReady Tracker slash Math Center's pocket chart. I started laminating the cursive alphabet that I got from Letters from Mikkel on Teachers Pay Teachers. And I got like decently far. And then the laminator jammed on me and I seriously don't know how to fix it so... When I head out, I'm going to put this little note on it because it's honestly terrible. Like, I jammed it so bad. I don't know how to fix it. I tried. So here's an overview of day two. It's a little bit messy. But I'm going to tidy up a little bit and head out.